The congressman here cut embassy security in his budget by $300 million below what we asked for, number one. So much for the embassy security piece. Number two, with regard to the ability of the United States to take action militarily, it is, it is not in my purview to talk about it. Is. <laughs> we Irish call it malarkey. Thanks for the translation. No, okay. We Irish call it malarkey. But last thing, war should always be the absolute last resort. That's why these crippling sanctions with BB Netanyahu. Mr. President, Look. I have a feeling you have a few things to say here. <laughs> uh, the idea, if you heard that, that uh, little soliloquy on 47 percent, you think that he spent months and this months the, and months going into this. This is the inspector this. general. May, months and months. They found no evidence of cronyism. And I love my friend here. I had I'm an argument from Sarah Palin. It seems every presidential debate I hear this kind of stuff about panels. Um, but let's talk about Medicare. Um, it's a voucher. When they first proposed, when the congressman had his first voucher program, the CBO said it would cost $6,400 a year, Martha, more for Oregon. We all got together and everybody said, as long as everybody, in terms of tax expenditures. Mm -hmm. Number two, 97% of the small businesses in America pay less, than, make less than $250,000. Let me tell you who some of those other small businesses are. Vice hey, President Biden on this, look, I want to move on. We don't cut it. And I might add, this so-called, I know we don't want to use the fancy word, sequester this automatic cut. That was part of a debt deal that they asked for. And let me tell you what my friend said at a press conference announcing his support of the deal. He said, and I'm paraphrasing, we've been looking for this moment for a long time. Vice Martha, President Biden. let's keep our eye on the ball. The reason I've been in and out of Afghanistan and Iraq 20 times. I've been up in the Konar Valley. And Ryan, I have talked to you John. And all this loose talk of my friend Governor Romney and the congressman about how we're going to do, we could do so much more in there. What more would they do other than put American boots in the ground the, in making sure that health and humanitarian aid as well as other aid and training is getting to those forces? That question, question here. The court. The next president will get one minute at equal time. I, I, you, you will get just a few minutes here, a few seconds, really. Okay, we now turn to the candidates for their closing statements. Thank you, gentlemen, and that coin toss again as Vice President Biden, starting with the closing well, statement. Well, thank you.